Hello and welcome to this journey of making the reverse shell or a backdoor with the help of Python. So in the previous lecture we saw how we can just connect these two client and a server through the socket module of a Python. Now let's see how we can just send data through these API calls. So you can see that this layer which is in the server part are optional and you could see we'll see how to bind and listen in the next module but now you can see that we have successfully communicated through the server and a client through the socket and basically server is listening to the socket through some application but in next lecture we'll just make our own python in order to listen for the incoming connection but for now let's see how we can send and receive the data between this server and client because we have already connection set up in the previous lecture now let's see how this send and receive method of this uh, socket module work further in our lecture so you can see completely over here that server will receive first from the client sending incoming request and then it will send and basically client will receive that so you can do this to and forth between this server and client now let's implement this and let's see how this work with our python program so first of all let's go to the window let's open that module that we just created in the previous lecture which was this file python file so you could clearly see we have the connection established on this ip and on this port you can also simply put another port over here so after that we have to now send the connection so in order to send that you can see that we have to make use of this send module and this is the send method which will just send some information back to the server so let's see how this is done so i'll just say that i'll just give some information okay i'll just say successfully connected so this will be the masses that will be sent to this server so let's see how this works and okay i just found that this notepad plus plus doesn't support maybe backwards less so, so let's remove this so i didn't find and basically let me just make this statement saying successfully connected let me just give some spaces maybe this will help so we'll just make this connection that is basically the uh, connection between the client and server and after there is a connection we have to send this message and after sending you could see from these images that is after sending any request you have to close that connection so let me just close that connection right here so i'll just say connection should be close and let me just put parenthesis let me save this and let's go over here and let's see how this works so first of all we have to listen for this port and i have written the command in order to listen so it is listening now on this port let's go over here and uh, let's navigate to our cmd that is our desktop which has this python file and i'll just say backdoor dot py is my file and let's go and it is showing us error okay but if i just go back to the server it is also showing nothing over here so maybe we have some error sending that request so let's see what is that error so we have successfully uh, got that value but not here so it is uh, giving us some error saying that byte like object is required not a string so it has shown us this error saying that basically uh, so let me just uh, clear this first and let me just save this again and run it that is python dot backdoor and it is saying byte like object is required not a string so if i just uh, go back to our kali linux nothing is received instead we have to receive some bytes over here 
so this happened because uh, of this uh, python compatibility version so basically if you have the version python version that is 2.7 this will works perfectly fine but now in python 3.7 or the newer version whatever that is uh, basically from maybe python 3.5 or newer it has changed to something send to from send they have changed to send to so if you are using python version that is newer than 3.5 send will not work for you so you have to change from send to send to so let me just format this real quick so let me say message here and instead of successfully connected just writing over here let me just cut it out let me just paste it here which will be the masses now what you need to do is we have to just go over here and we have to first get that masses which is that masses and we have to first encode it otherwise it is not going to work and basically this send to will have the two positional argument or basically we have just given the one which is the message and is encoding technique or basically encoded masses and after that next argument to this send to method will be tuple so in this tuple you have to send now the same application or basically the same ip what we just have here so you have to just copy this and you'll just paste it over here the ip and a port number that this server is listening to so this will be the ip address of the server and this will be port of that server so we have completed now so this is the new way of doing things in the case of python version 3.5 or newer so let me save this now let's go over here make sure our server is listening to this same port let's go here and let me just run it one more time saying python backdoor.py is the file that is in desktop let me just go over here that is not showing any error and you could see received is 23 bytes has been received over here that means some information has been received by the server so let's see now how we can send from this server to that of this Kali Linux so let's see how we can do that so first of all let me just go and make again the server listened on this port now let's go over here and change something so if i go back here and um, if i show you that what we have just done here is we have now used the send method in order to send from this client and the server will receive data now we have to make use of this method in order to receive data from the server where only we stick to this client side we don't have to use to the server side that means we can make use of only this receive method in order to receive data we can't use this send because this send is for server so we have to use this receive method in the client in order to just get that data because we are only coding with the python in the client side we'll also do coding in the server side in the upcoming lecture but for now we are only coding in the client side that means we have to make use of this method which is receive in order to get the receive data from the server so let's go back over here so the method is quite easy over here so what we can do is we'll just say receive data and we'll make use of the same connection and it will be receive method that we just saw and the byte and that is this byte over here and after that we need to just print this receive data so i'll just say receive data should be printed so that's it we just use this receive in order to receive the data and we just print it out over here hope this will work and let's see if this works or not so let me just save this one more time let's go over here and let's see our port is up and running let's go back here let me run that python again which is the backdoor file let me just hit enter and now you could see that it is running it is successfully connected that means you can send data from this server now to the client so if i type anything this is a kali linux you have been hacked so if i hit enter 
then it has shown that 42 byte was sent and it was received 23 which was the same code and if you go over here then you will see information right away this is a Kali Linux you have been hacked information because we have just print that receive data over here that means it will just show that data in this uh, terminal or a command prompt so you could see how we can send data from the server and client and basically we can see that it has now received some data using this receive method of this socket api call so this is the way to send and data and receive the data between the two computers using this socket so in the next lecture we'll see how we can run now command from the server to this machine using some of the modules and basically using the same module but we have some method to do that we'll see that in the next lecture so see you in the next one